Hey, how's it going? This is Hellbent and welcome to the first tutorial in the GUI short tutorial series for AutoHotKey. In this series, we're just going to be looking at the bare bones of everything to make it really quick for you, really easy for you. I already have most of this stuff covered in full length tutorials. So if you want more than just the, the bare bones, if you want to know how to do things that I'm not going to be covered covering in this, most of it will be covered in the regular series. This is just very short and to the point. Okay. So in this first episode, what we're going to do is we're going to create a GUI. And before I do that, I'm actually going to show you a couple of examples that you can do. So I've gone ahead and I've selected a few. So I have the classic kind of Windows form thing where, you know, we just input some information and push some buttons, push this, push that, and it does whatever we want it to do. Okay. Then we have, let me just pull up a couple more of the same kind of deal where we have buttons and edit fields and check boxes and etc. etc. The same deal, right? Then we can get into custom buttons. So with this, we have rather than just the stale uh, buttons that comes as a default, we'll learn how to create custom buttons that can actually make our GUIs look more presentable, uh, more of the same here we have a we can we'll learn how to do scrolling text uh, how to make things move on your screen etc etc and last we have where we can actually create games and the things like that so this this is a game that is created solely in auto hotkey using the GUI All right, and likewise we can show one more example of that one more okay so once again this is another game that is created solely using auto hotkey GUI okay so that's it for that let's jump into this so let me close up a bunch of this stuff Turn in one. okay so all I have so far is a hotkey to exit whenever I want you know we don't we're not going to need it but it's always a good idea to have an emergency exit and I also have single instance force which just means that I can if I go to if I'm doing testing and I go to run it again and a previous version is running it's not going to ask me if I want to override it so that's what I have so far so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our template and the way we do that is we just type in GUI and then show and then what we need is some parameters here so if we depending on where on our screen that we want it to pop up like if we have a specific spot so for example this top corner we could play around with an X value and a Y value to get it to show up there the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create its width and its height so let's start out with something uh, medium size we're gonna start off with a width of 500 and a height of 500 the last parameter that we're going to add in is what we're going to title it. So if we leave this parameter blank, whatever we called our our program, our script, that's going to be the name that shows up. If we want some other name, we just type it in here, GUI. And we will add, after this, we will add in a return and run it. Okay, so here we have our, our blank template for our GUI the next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our first control so everything that we add to it whether it be a checkbox a button a some text a tabs etc etc all of these are we're gonna consider as controls and we have the ability later on to manipulate them using them as a control so the first control that we're gonna learn is the text and the way we add in our controls is we just type in GUI comma and then add and then the control type that we want so in our first example we're just gonna do a text control the next parameter what we're gonna add in is its position within our GUI so if I look at this white space 
within our GUI. This very top corner is going to represent a value of x0 and y0. And our x is going to grow in this direction. So it starts at 0 and it'll start building up to 500, which is our end. And our y starts here and it grows in this direction. So this is 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, etc. So we're going to decide where on our GUI we want our text. For this example, we're just going to put it right up in the top left corner at x of 10 and y of 10. Because we're using text, we don't have to assign a width or a height to it. It'll do that on its own. But if we have a plan of changing it later on, what we're going to need to do is allocate some space for it with a width or a height. But that's only if we're going to be changing it through some other process later on while the program's actually running. In other words, we don't need to worry about that. We also don't have to worry about adding labels to this or variables. And I'll get into the more of that as we go through the series. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the text that we want. So here we have GUI. We're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to add, what we're going to add is this control type. Then we have the options and there's a whole bunch of options that we'll get into later on. But for now, we're just having its position within the GUI. And then last, we're going to have the text that is displayed. So we'll just type out, this is the text. So there's our text. We'll go ahead, save it, run it. And there we go. We can also add in multiple of these controls. So we'll quickly add in two more. This one, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick the end location here and I'm going to add to that value. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to say X plus 10 and it already knows what our x value is so this is where it begins but it also calculates where it ends so what we're doing with this one is we're adding to the end of wherever this last control ended so we're doing x plus 10 we don't need to do the y because we're going to be on the same line other than that we're good so and we'll just type in this is more text and then we'll come down and we'll add one last one where we're going to position it somewhere else on our GUI. This time we're going to have an X of 50 and a Y of 150. So our text is going to be closer to the middle. Well, it's not going to really be the middle, but it's closer to the middle. And this is the last text. Run it, and there we go. So we can see with this one here, we added 10 pixels to the end and to begin our next line. And then this one here, we started at x50, so 50 pixels over and 150 pixels down. Okay, so that's the end of this one. Come back for the next one where we're going to take a look at the GUI font, how to change the size of the text, how to change the typeface, and its color. Have a good day and I'll see you on the next one.